Length Part 1 River and Flower are having fun playing in the forest. They are guessing which tree is taller. Flower suggests they find out who is the tallest between each other. They will each stand next to the tree and mark their height. River is excited about this game. He always likes to win, so he wants to be the tallest. They mark his height on the tree. Now it's Flower's turn to be measured. When they stand back and look at the marks, they can see that Flower is taller than River. River is disappointed he didn't win this game. Back in the cave, they explain to their mom's son what they've been up to, comparing the heights of trees and then themselves. Sun asks them to collect various objects from the cave so they can compare how long they are. River has found a fork and a twig. Flower has found a couple of pencils. Sun has found a spoon to add to the collection. The fork and the spoon are two different things, yet they are the same length. These two pencils are similar, but their lengths are not the same. This pencil is shorter than the other pencil. The fork and the spoon are longer than the long pencil. And the twig that River found seems very long compared to the other objects. She arranges all the objects on the table. Sun wants Flower to point to the shortest thing on the table. Yes, Flower, the smaller pencil. Now will River pick the longest thing on the table? Excellent! Finally, Sun wants to know who is the tallest between the three of them. It's Sun! Yes! And the shortest? River, you won that one! A clap for yourself! Today we learned that things come in different length and height. We describe length using the words short and long, and we describe height with the words short and high or tall. Objects can be the same shape but different lengths. Or they can be different shapes but the same length.